This is Twit. Now let's talk about facial recognition. Guys, this is, and we talk about this on, Kevin and I did a segment on our show, so... You know, you're just going to be bored if you hear hear my show tomorrow. Well, so, but, so um, I'll tell you the news is, and this is Kurt Kurt Wagner and the Recode. The news is that, and this has always been a problem: people uploading pictures of you without tagging you, and you don't know it's there, and you might not like it. Facebook is now going to recognize the faces and uploads and let you know that somebody's uploaded a picture of you, whether or not they tag you. Is that that's that's it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. And that's really exciting. Like as someone who like. If, if you were stalked, for example, and you could get your picture off Facebook, even if your friends don't tag you, that's going to be great. But it does mean now that Facebook is very confident that it knows what most people look like, uh, even if they're not posting a lot. So I saw this, and unfortunately, right before it, I also read the USA Today story about uh, surveillance, the surveillance state and image recognition used in uh, by China in the areas to to tamp down on the Uyghur rebellion. Yeah. And I don't know mm -hmm. if you saw that story, yeah. but it was crazy scary yeah. how, and, and I thought, you know, if Facebook has this information and awesome image recognition, China is apparently developing this. What's to say that Facebook won't give this to people and they probably wouldn't, but we're just giving all of this data away. And so many companies, states are starting to have access to it. And it's, Pretty freaking scary. You don't have to assume, though, that Facebook's going to give it to a government to, to not like this idea. I mean, Facebook now, already, uh, Facebook collects information about everything you put on Facebook and adds to that big database. But face recognition means they're going to recognize everything about you from every source possible. But, and here's the other thing that is actually even a bigger Correlate concern. it back to you. And correlate That's it back to you, right. So this is without your participation. I could leave Facebook, but now they know enough about what I look like that I'd still be dumping but, information into Facebook via other people. They'd be putting my but, information but, in. But, you, you know, the thing is, this this capability is there no matter what. They're just coming out with it, number yes. one. Number two, so I got, I got an argument with somebody on, on, on Facebook who I, I respect immensely, um, Raja Narazetti, who's, a, who's a, a major media executive, and he was decrying this, you know, as, as the creepy personal, personal thing. And I said, no. I said, now you can know when someone's putting up a photo of yourself yeah, that you don't thing. know. This is good. And, but it was, I was in the exact same debate like we had last week is, oh, no, Facebook bad. And I said, imagine a different company did this. You know, are you still going to presume that it's bad? And, and, and I don't think it is. Listen, the technology can be misused. Yeah, absolutely. But, but that doesn't mean that it will be or that doesn't mean that the use well, is bad. Here's my, here's my problem, Jeff. Facebook, I don't trust Facebook. And I've seen them do stuff in the past without letting us know by accident, apologizing later. They have proven themselves, in my opinion, untrustworthy in this area. By the way, when they ask now, okay, in order to, for this to work, we have to grant Facebook permission to use facial recognition. They don't say specifically for this purpose. They say broadly across the service. Uh, you're giving them now, in order to enable this... Is it opt-in? Facebook is changing its settings to make it easier for the company to add more facial recognition features down the line. Instead of asking, this is again, Kurt, instead of asking users- Is it opt-in or opt-out? Instead of asking users to give Facebook permission to use facial recognition for tagging purposes, which is what the company asks for now, users will now be asked to grant Facebook permission to use facial recognition broadly across the service. That's what the, and their excuse will be, well, we have to do that. Otherwise, we won't be able to see people post pictures of you. But they now right. will have permission to use it in many ways. <coughs> yeah, and I, so thinking of this with my sort of hat on here, thinking about uh, it, it's almost a signal that it's more um, accurate in, in a much larger database and perhaps much more sinister in the sense that it's more accurate than the current FBI database facial, facial recognition software. Um, and so I can see where we can hope for the best, but also I imagine that in the science fiction to come, right, the, the future that's already here, um, they're not entirely, you know, beholden to holding on to that data or not selling that data. I don't even care because I don't trust Facebook with that data. 
Well, I'm, we'll I'm with you, Leo. You don't have to fight me. We're going to fight. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you don't, but I'm just saying you don't have to presume that they're going to give it to the government. As I said before, the fact that Facebook no. has it is bad enough. Well, this is what I'm trying to say is that they're not, um, it's not always that the data is going to be improperly used. It's that the data is there and there are lots and lots of people uh, different different governments in a competitive space that are looking for this kind of data and looking for this kind of technology. And one thing that makes databases both um, hard to do is that uh, you can't get the actual data into them. So we have force fed this machine um, so, so many terabytes of data that it's it's very, very powerful at this point. And we've put no restrictions on as a society, as a country, on what that could look like in terms of selling, mining, um, inter federating data with other databases. I mean, what makes data really interesting to me as a researcher is when we can link it up to other, other forms of data. Um, and so I wonder then if we're headed for a kind of circle situation, right, where it's so powerful that these are the things, these end up being the tools we use to verify census or to verify identity with voting. And um, and so when we build something so large and so powerful and leave it in the hands of a corporation with no rules and restrictions, uh, we are sort of setting ourselves up for some kind of a, a failure.